preview. 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 How would you describe the culture surrounding this football team? You know, the culture is actually... Hi there, everyone. This is Darkside 2K7, a.k.a. Sun Sky Chaser. And welcome to week 16 of my NFL Picks video. Yes, that's right. We're in week 16. The playoff race is... And the playoffs are still going... And the race to the playoffs is still going on. I'm so excited. And I wish I could be more. But there has been some crazy stuff that happened. Now, before we get into what my week 16, let's get over a few things. First things first, we got not one but two teams who've been eliminated for playoff contention. Those two teams are... The Denver Broncos... Wait, no, not the Denver Broncos. The Arizona Cardinals and the Rams. Guess for the Rams, it's like, fuck them picks, but... You know... Really sitting there gone with that, to be perfectly honest. Really sitting there gone with that. <laughs> well, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the games. First off, Saturday games in last week. Well, well, hold on. First off, let's get back to first off, let's get to the Thursday game out of the way. As we know, the Niners have had to take down the Seahawks, which really helped us out. But what's even makes it even more cooler for the Seahawks, for the 49ers, is that their win against their win against the Seahawks. On Thursday, on Thursday night, helped them clinch the NFC West title, meaning that they automatically get into the playoffs. <laughs> yep, indeed, you do. And 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 no surprise, Carson Carson Wentz is dead. No surprise. And on Saturday, we had three football games, and and all three home teams won. Vikings won. Vikings won their game, their home game against the Colts after uh, being down good them after being down 33 to nothing. Then they managed to come back and be, beat the Colts. Like seriously, how the seriously Colts? How the fuck you blew a 33 to nothing lead? Honestly, this was bad on Matty Ice. That if I was him, I'd just retire from the fucking game. Cause trust me, here I thought. Rolling a 28 to 3 lead against the Patriots a few years ago, back when he went to the lineup, was bad enough. This one was even worse. And because of that, um, the Vikings have managed to win, managed to score. Oh, someone died. And that's what it was. That sucks. And the Vikings have scored, uh, has scored a, uh, won the NFC North at the Northern Sea North title and got in. And speaking of the Bills, oh, and the Bills, they got in. They got in by beating their beating Miami. Yeah. Now it's Sunday. Now let's go to Sunday. Well, let's see. Saints managed to stay alive. Falcons is well, Falcons. Steelers managed to beat the Carolina Panthers. I mean, let's be, let's get one thing perfectly clear on that one. Let's get one thing perfectly fucking clear on that one. There's gonna be some bullshit that's gonna make sure that Mike Tomlin will never lose. Will never have his first losing. Lose this season, man. There's gonna be some bullshit that's gonna happen right there. Come hell, I, 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 I will be high if that shit would happen. Next up, we got the Philadelphia Eagles beating the Bears. That was a trap game, but they managed to beat that. Managed to not get trapped. Although I did hear from you. Although I did hear that. Ooh, boy. Sorry, I had to yawn. Although I did hear that for the for the Eagles, uh, there, there's a good chance that um, Jalen Hurts, who's been putting on one hell of a game, he might not be able to play uh, this Sunday against the Dallas Cowboys, and they're gonna need him too because you know that because you know if the Philadelphia Eagles win that game, then they would clinch then they would clinch the NFC East title. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. I mean, they already got the playoffs lo locked up. All they need is to clinch the. All they need is to win the AFC East, and they're golden, baby. But knowing Dallas, still find a way. Knowing Dallas, they'll try to do their best to try to get back in, to get back into it. Oh, we'll, oh, and don't worry, Dallas. I'll get to y'all. Next up, we have the Chiefs beating a already dead team in the Houston Texans, which, no surprise, the Chiefs managed to claim the AFC, the AFC West title for the seventh year in a row. 
Because why not, man? Cowboys! <laughs> man! What the fuck, Cowboys? What the fuck? What the fuck? You had a chance to win the damn game against Jacksonville. And yet Dak threw a crucial-ass pick six. A crucial-ass pick six at overtime. And the scary part is Jacksonville is still alive. All Jacksonville do needs is to win out and just need some help. Same with the Lions, who beat the Jets, who are still alive. Cardinals, Broncos, that was a tank game, but, you know, Cardinals, they just, they just flat out suck, man. I feel sorry for DeAndre Hopkins and J.J. Watt. Really, really I do, really I do. Chargers beat Tennessee. That's a soccer. Oh, this one. Oh, God, this one hurts the most. Bengals are looking really good. I, it's just that I think this might not be Tom Brady's. Um, I don't think this might be uh, Tom Brady's year, man. I, I don't know. I mean, I have my doubts, but, you know, they got to do something, man. They got to do something because you, you never see Brady losing this many games. I mean, it's really, really, it's really bad, man. It's really bad. Of course, the, the, I mean, Bucks need to win the go to win, win the play, go to get into the playoffs, but they need to win some games and clinch the NFC South. Yeah. And and the Patriots. Oh boy. Yeah, that was. Oh God, I saw the last part of the game, and oh my God, that lateral. <laughs> yeah. Raiders won that game. Raiders won that fucking game, you know. Of course, my game. Yeah, we got fucked. Yeah, it was it was brutal, man. The game was really fucking brutal against the Giants. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna hate on. I'm not gonna hate on the Giants. I'm not that kind of a person. But God damn, the refs really fucked us on that one. I mean, seriously. Terry McLaurin said that the ref said, oh, it's okay, he's on there. But when the play actually started, we scored a touchdown, they flagged us for saying, oh, he's in an illegal formation. Which means that ref ball is, once again, fuck, tends to fuck over a really good competitive game like that. I mean, and then our offensive line, man, they got bull rushed by the, by the, by the front seven of the Giants. This hurts us more because, this hurts us because, yeah, we still hold a wild card spot, but we, but man, we, now the best, now our best option, we need to win the fuck out. So, yeah, we need to win the fuck out and we need to, need to get some, um, we need to get some help. Oh, that's bullshit, that's a bullshit penalty right there, man, that's bullshit. And then the Monday Nighter. Well, the Packers, for some dumbass reason, managed to keep their season alive while also killing, uh, also cutting off the head of the Rams. Well, I guess it's true. What, well, I guess it's true what they fucking say, man. It's like to the Rams. I guess their famous last words were, "Fuck them picks." Fuck them picks, indeed. Just wow. Fucking wow. And that's it, and that's it for all uh, this for that week. Let's get to week 16. Oh, do we do we do? I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, let's get this party started with some games. For the Thursday night, I got the Jaguars against the Jets. This one, I'm picking Jaguar Jacksonville. Yeah, why not? And yeah, we got a slate of Saturday games. Both of them will be on Fox, CBS, with one on the NFL Network. Alright. So I got the Ravens beating Atlanta. I got Panthers beating Detroit. I got the Bills beating the Bears. I got the Saints beating the Browns. I got the Chiefs beating the Seahawks. That's the same bet right there. Minnesota beating the Giants. Bagels beating the Patriots. Titans beating the Texans. Redskins beating the Niners. Cowboys beating Philly. 
And in this Christmas Eve game, which is the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception, I'm picking the Raiders, beating the Steelers, because fuck Mike, Tom, Mike Tomlin. Oh, and by the way, that game will be on the NFL Network. And for the sun, and for Sunday, we only got three days for Christmas. Or be way better than the bullshit Christmas, Christmas Eve game on uh, that the NBA is trying to put out. Like seriously, you can't, you can't put uh, the Pelicans to play on there to try to help save your fucking league. You gotta put LeBron. Uh, save me that one for another video. I got the Dolphins beating the Packers. Cause you know that'd be on Fox. I got it's Tank Bowl. Oh my God, they're showing Tank Bowl on both CBS and Nickelodeon. Because to the NFL, to the NFL, NFL who here at Paris say, oh, we don't show this to our kids. NFL, fuck them kids. That's just bullshit, man. That's just real bullshit, though. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna fucking cap. So you know. <sighs> So, you know, I, I don't know about this, but I'll just pick uh, the Rams, because if I pick the Broncos, I'll be like, Broncos country, let's ride. But yeah, that game's going to be on CBS and Nickelodeon, if anybody want, if anybody gives a fuck. And then for the Sunday night, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing against the Arizona Cardinals. And for this one, I'm picking the Bucks, because you don't bet against Tom Brady. Bitches. And for Monday night, the day after Christmas, I am picking the Chargers over the Colts. And that is it for week 16. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, so don't miss out on updates, share your friends, share your neighbors, share your significant others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is darkside 2 k 7 aka Sound Sky Sage signing off. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot, and I will see you in the next one. Catch you later, peace. And for all the teams, for all the teams who are still trying to fight to get into the playoffs and try to win, we and try to uh, clinch their divisions and their titles, we always remember that number one golden rule: don't get eliminated. So long, everybody, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all that good stuff.